Ooh. We were just talking about one to see more yeah. realistic. Ah, oh, she threw it at you! Throw they the threw... book at him, sis. That's hilarious. Like his skin is falling off oh, as he's gross. crawling. Oh, do you hear four people made this fucking game? That's impressive. I mean, so like, how do you feel about it now? Oh, the, it's never coming out. Like, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Four people are behind this. This is never coming out. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Gamer Forecast. I am Chase Colosi, content producer at Riot Games, which you may know as the makers of League of Legends. And I am here with my bestie, Evan Michael Lee. <laughs> I'm a voiceover actor. I do video games, commercials, animations, a whole shebang. And today, what are we doing? Watching <laughs> Ill, a game none of us have seen or watched or proof, anything like that. It's a proof of concept. Why are you the way you are? We're watching a proof of concept today. I've actually not seen this game at all. Have you? Listen, don't know anything about it, but if it's scary, I'm not gonna buy it. Ooh! Okay, first person shooter already on board. The boot! Okay, so I mean, well, everything's pre-rendered because this is proof oh, of concept, oh, oh. but. Oh! Were those? What was blurred out? I think is we it, know. Is it, we know. Mm. I think we know. Got it. Okay, makes sense. Listen, you've been to that store. I have. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are clearly in this someone's like, college dorm. Like John Wick meets. There's some Bioshock vibes to it. Yeah, too. yeah, it's like real. With like the vending machine. Yeah. The writing on the wall. The black light. Sure. It's like, oh, it, I mean, well, I wanted to be like, oh, oh. it's so pretty, but I'm like, it's all pre-rendered. Oh. Uh huh. I the do. F is this cold? Okay, bye. Sorry, wrong room. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I yeah, just yeah, yeah. Away. Very that. Housekeeping. All right, so very moody. I like how they looked at you. It's kind of yeah, right. And slowly went up instead of just immediately running after you. I like that too. Okay, so horror-based first-person shooter. And it looks great. Yeah. I'm, well, I mean, this is all pre-rendered. The game wouldn't would. This is like the render footage, like how they would expect the hey. game to look. I said what I said. Okay, it does, <laughs> it does. If you want people to give you your money, this is great, but you can tell it's unnatural because the way it moves right there. So see if you go back like Hold a on, couple let me see, frames. Let me see what she's talking about. So watch his hand move when he moves to the side. See how it kind of like waves a little bit? It's just done so perfectly. That's not really how games work. But to that point, hit pause. <laughs> if <Great>. you, uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> terrific. Sure. But if he were to go the opposite way, then your gun is out of frame. So if there's a threat, then like it might be harder to focus. But I think well, for I design think purpose, go... I think that's why the hand goes inward. I think you still see it in, in shooters. It's just that was so smooth that you know it's like that's not how it would look at the end of the door. I should critique what they're presenting. They know they're not presenting a game that's playable right now. This is like what would what would we want to look at? And wait, was that a Scooby Doo? Go back. Was that the mystery machine? Did, with the Scooby Doo tie in we didn't know we needed. What if you were just trying to solve someone's like murder and this is a gritty version of. You're playing Shaggy from Scooby Doo. <laughs> uh, the animation, how it fell, is like pretty cool. Oh, I love oh that. the kick love and the get stumble it, it. backwards. I like that. Mm. We were just talking about one to see more yeah. realistic. Oh, she threw it at you! Throw they the threw... book at him, sis. That's hilarious. They th Oh, and there's more. Oh, all right, well, that she, she was a little bit easier. I love the realism, like one shot would probably take these things out with the shotgun Ooh. of this. Right. From this um, distance. But that also means if they get close, they're probably gonna they're, take you out real quick. They're probably gonna take quick. you out. She, uh, <laughs> I don't know what she just planned on doing there. So take this Amazon package. But no, I like that. Like it goes with the the AI of the characters of them being kind of slow, maybe a little bit, you know, not as intelligent as like humans, because obviously they're not, they're like zombie creatures. Look at him, he's got the COVID-19. Uh, yeah, these variants are coming out. Whoa. Uh, <coughs> this is very the thing. There's, that looks exactly like a enemy from Dead Space, that, actually. Oh! oh, oh uh, I love the yeah, animation. I'm, I'm feeling it. What am I talking about? I am never going to play this. No, me either. <laughs> I don't. Absolutely not. Does this, this look like a good, fun time to. Oh my God. Oh, the, the neck. It's like bulging. I love it. I admire it. I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> like, I would say, like, this is like a one, I would play this game one time and then never pick it up again. Yeah, the, the only game I played like this was Alien Isolation. And that's just because I love aliens. I won't even play it. I, we, I saw enough, I saw enough. 
Like his skin is falling off oh, as he's gross. crawling. Oh, I didn't even catch that the first time. I mean, I love what they're going for. I don't know if the actual end game would look like that. There's just so much processing that would have to happen with all these layers naturally coming off like that. You know what I mean? Well, like, listen, we're in the PS5 So era. maybe, so yeah, maybe with with that, but if it's a Kickstarter game, I'm a little skeptical. So, so what do you think about the vibe of the game? Because it feels, I like how everything feels stuffy. Um, yeah, it feels lived in for sure. It's oh, yeah, like yeah. a haunted house experience is what it's looking like to me. I kind of wish I got to see an outdoor environment. Okay, this place is super stylized and grungy, but why? It feels like a drug den, and like sure. that's kind of cool. I like the the neon like black light on the wall. Right, because it also makes you wonder who was in this room before. Like, were they crazy or are they like a mad scientist? You know what I mean? I think things like that sort of make your mind as a player wonder who was here, what's their backstory, what are they all about, how do they fit into this world? Oh, oh fun. Well. Uh. Is she a clown? <laughs> Yo! What is oh, oh, stop! Gross. Stop! Gross. Oh, I love the detail, but no. Has that ever happened in like a game like this where like you kill something and then some other sh crawls out of it? All right, I'll be back later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, no, there's been other games that have done something like that. Five, right? When they were in Africa? They've had games like that, yeah. I haven't played the Resident Evil in a minute. I can't play those games anymore. Why? But keep me up. Okay. <laughs> well, the, the, yeah, seven it. onward. Come on in. She walked in like she pays bills there. You know, also I like how like he shot the arm and like he looked at it like for a second. Yeah, before, like, I like that too because here's the thing, and that's what, one of the uh, biggest improvements I think that could happen with artificial intelligence on enemies mm -hmm. is them having more like self-preserving notions in how they they operate in the environment. Yeah. So hiding behind cover, not just being bullet sponges for you to shoot them, but them seemingly trying to actually kill you and survive. Yeah. I guess you could say things got out of hand. Stop it, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. I think I would, I would probably not shoot it because I'd be processing what the f just happened. Right, well this whole world is team too much. Right, y'all need like a, a maid? At least once a month, something. Uh, I think with video games nowadays, you really have to take into consideration the environment and like it being destructible. And yeah, and like you can interact with it. Yeah, 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 I'm like, I can't just like, crash into a wall or something and like nothing happens. It nice. is to an extent though, because it's like if you let it completely be destructible, mm. you can d just completely demolish the entire place. And mm. also you don't want things to fall on top of the character that would otherwise kill them. Right. Uh, because that would probably be a whole nother nightmare to, to deal with. Because now you're dodging like two things. But you can have like s small things like that be destructible and yeah. it still add credence to the mm. environment, you know, mm. and how she picked up the vase and threw it at you. That's part of the environment. And it's oh, and the beginning when he was like spray shooting and he like, shot the doorknob off and like the doorknob like that. And up like, that Mac computer. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. like and again, here's the thing to be careful when you're donating to games like this. This is target footage. Tell this is not. Tell them. Tell yeah, them here's that. the thing to, to focus on when, when looking at stuff like this. This is target footage of how the game could look. It is not what the game will look like. The game will not look like completely like this. Like the, the details and the animations of it, the arm coming off, it probably won't be that sophisticated, uh, but it's supposed to give you a mood, like tone of like, this is what it's like, do you want to donate money to it? I mean, there's some success stories, but a lot of them just don't come out. Look at Star Citizen. That sh has been crowdfunded for how, like a decade now. I don't even know what that game is. It, w it raised like over $150 million. But there's also no law that says you have to give to kids. Which is the problem. So like, if you're giving on your own, like... Expect nothing yeah, in return. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you give to expect nothing in return. Things change with game development. Yeah. That shit takes forever. Yeah, Star Citizen is the largest uh, crowdfunded anything ever. And it still isn't out. <laughs> it's still a beta. Yo, do you hear four people made this fucking game? Four? Four. Four, like, as, like, in, as in... Like one more than three. What the fuck are we doing? Not much. Four <laughs> people made this? That's impressive. I mean, so like, how do you feel about it now? Knowing that four people- Oh, that it's never coming out. Like- <laughs> Oh, no, 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 four people are behind this. This is never coming out, uh-uh. No, but I mean, with like the environment, like everything we've seen so far, oh, like- Oh, no, this is, this is a massive accomplishment. Yeah, I'm like, with four people, like, damn. Yeah. No, take the, take the money and run at this point. You don't have, like, this is great.
Uh, okay, Chase. Penny, for your thoughts. I just need to shower okay, after, after this. Shower? Yeah, just burn me alive. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah, I, I'm not much of a horror game player. Mm -hmm. um, it's just when things are coming at you in first person, it's just not my stick. I see. But I appreciate it because you go through a horror game slowly, yeah. so the environment detail is always uh, top notch. Yeah, and obviously we don't know anything about the story. Yeah, that's yet to be determined, but visually, I like what I see. So this video may not have been your cup of tea, but you know what is your cup of tea? Gamer Forecast. Like and subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Now. What he said. Are you waiting? Do it. Well, hello, welcome to Gamer Forecast. I'm Chase Colosi. Where, you looked at me, Ron, did I say? Oh, I was like, oh, did I f it up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me do it again. YouTube, Facebook, the whole jazz. What do do you it do? now, or you're a communist. Why are you? <laughs>